Once your NVR list is populated, you need to simply select the NVR you're looking to activate. That's going to be this one here. Then I'm going to click confirm. If you'll notice at the top, it says to activate and add the NVR. This is why you see a place we have two places to put in a password. It will remember passwords you've used previously. So I'm going to simply confirm this password and then click confirm. You notice here it's activating and rebooting the NVR. So it's telling me the NVR has been activated and it's rebooting to reload the applications. It will ensure that everything is in working order. This step may take a few minutes to complete. Once it has completed and rebooted, we do get the prompt to click continue to proceed. Now it's wanting us to make sure that we have verified that our connections or our cameras are connected to our NVR if we're using a PoE. There's a lot of information here talking about if you're not using a PoE or if you're using a switch on a PoE or if you're using third-party cameras to make sure you go through and read this to make sure they're added correctly. The point of this is that we're getting ready to try to add the cameras to vision and it wants to make sure that we are working locally before we try to do this. I've got a camera plugged in and ready to go, so I'm gonna hit continue. Upon doing that, I get an add camera screen here where you see there's cameras that are listed. You notice there's only one thumbnail, that's because I've only got one camera plugged in. The other ones are listed, see the two, three, four, all the way through seven and eight, those have a warning icon over them. If you simply hover over those, it will give you the current cause of why that camera is not seen. And as I stated, I only have one camera plugged in, so we expect the rest to not have anything there. It's gonna show as a network disconnected. Once the cameras I have ready to add are there, showing the thumbnail, I'm going to click add cameras again. It lets me know that one of eight cameras has been successfully added. And the next thing it's gonna do is ask me to wanna to go ahead and edit the camera names. So from in here, I can simply click on the edit and I'm gonna change this camera name and then click save. Now it's asking me to set the time zone this is going to use the bridge to set the time zone to reach out and communicate with the NVR to make sure you are in the correct time zone. So do set that and click save. And just like that, we're completed and done with adding the cameras into the vision platform. Now to complete setting up the Turing vision with all of the power of AI, select setup cameras.